I'm on the last thing for safety. I got a Bondo and paint left, but uh, it's not really a safety thing. Doing the, uh, the rear output seal on the transfer case. It's this seal right here. So I gotta pull the rear drive shaft out. I just finished kind of breaking it loose. Took the four bolts out. They are a, a 15 mil, four 15 mil bolts here. And then you're just gonna put a jack stand so it doesn't drop to the ground. And then give it a, some good hits. I hit it on the other side a couple times and I give it one good one here and it, it broke loose. It's a pretty rusty truck so I can't imagine yours would be much worse. And then we're gonna move that jack stand, slide that on out of here. And then change that seal. did not be too bad of a job. Trying to get the best angle here. I'd like to get the other end to come out of the transfer case. There's not really anywhere back there to mount the camera, so I'll just show how I'm kind of working it out of here. We'll have to hire Cameron and Maddie full time eventually to get the good shots and stuff. <laughs> There it is. You might be able to see it's dripping uh, ETF fluid off the after top up the transfer case to make sure it's not down at all. You don't want to hit this end, a nice clean end on anything. And then you have to stick it back in there after. Well, lots of different activities in here now. This. Hello. Hey, Danny. How you doing? Good. Uh, my bond was all dried up, so I said, "Fuck the body work." Yeah, I'm doing the transfer <laughs> case seal. <laughs> yeah, I had two containers of bond and they're both all dried up. One I could almost use it, but it hardened like right away, so I just chucked it out. I think I just got to pop the seal off the screwdriver now. Clear it up, put it back together. Old screw it, Jerky Joe. Good dog. These guys here. These are the ones. This guy here. What do you think, man? Have a little break or what? Huh? What do you think, Jiggy? You want to be on TV too? Jiggy says, I want to be YouTube famous. <laughs> Alright, do something cool, Jiggy. Go! Do a backflip! Come on, do a backflip! No? Jiggy? He's stunned, yeah. He says, I want your paper towel. It smells like grease and so bad. Jackson loves good grass rolling. <laughs> Get him in. Just gonna walk right underneath him, eh, man? I'm making my way up over top of you. Someone's got some base somewhere, eh? Day for a day. It's a little windy though. <laughs> I think they say something there. They keep sniffing and rolling there. He's an arsehole, eh, man? 
<laughs> Good girl, man. <laughs> Since I had enough to come with him, I'm gonna go sniff around over here and eat some grass, do some grazing. <laughs> Alright, all right, a little break. Now we got the seal off. Popped off a lot e easier than I was thinking, actually. But, um, I'll show you how I did it. So I just stuck a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, right there. You can see it kind of bent it a bit, but I stuck it in. There wasn't much of a gap, just kind of on the edge. I gave it a tap there with a hammer, a couple taps, and it popped right off. Now we'll clean this up a bit. Make sure there's no dirt and stuff around there. Well, I realize why that simile came out of there so easy. It really just split in half. The um, whole metal from the metal bit on is still inside. So I'll have to try and kind of hit that edge and pop that out, or maybe put a some kind of hook inside and pull it up. Let's we'll see. So, there's a spot right here. Right, see, there's a spot right there on the side where the seal is, sticks out past the case. Of, well, it sticks out past the transfer case. So, um, you stick it from there and then you can get a hammer in the back. Kind of hard to see, but back under there behind the skid plate, you can hit it pretty good. And then um, I popped off a bit. Now I'm just kind of going along here and uh, twisting my screwdriver. Using my left hand right now, but it was working off. There we go. Just try it. Just work my way around. There we go. Let's see that. After all, I'll clean that up. That looks like it could use good cleaning. Surprise, it's sealed. Well, it didn't really seal. It, 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 it was leaking. Well, they said it was sweating, so it wasn't leaking too bad, but it wasn't sealed perfectly. I right, got the new seal in. Um, it goes in not too bad. First thing I did was I took a little ATF and I put that around the outer edge of the seal just to make it slide in a little better. And then I set it in there. Getting it to start is really the toughest part. Once you get it, uh, first two sides, you, you you're going to try and put one side in and another side is going to pop out. You try and put that side in, another side is going to pop out. Just kind of go a bit at a time. Don't try and put one side in more than it should be, kind of thing. And then you're going to start going around it, and you should be able to get it to go in. And you're going to be hitting it. You want to hit it with something wood. You don't want to hit it with a metal hammer. So I was using the smallest hammer I got and hit with the, the handle of that all the way around until it works itself in. You might see me reaching unless there's a flake of metal up here and trying to get rest flake. Well, it's not on this thing. But it's looking a lot better. Look at that. Ta da! Alright, so now I'm going to put a little more ATF on the inside of this seal here. I'm going to slip the drive shaft back in. Then we'll pop this out and see if, how much more ATF it's lost. Really, you could probably do without adding the ETF. It's not like it lost a whole lot, just really a couple drops, but it's a good time to check your fluid while you're here. Alright, got the drive shaft in there. 
One thing I forgot to mention earlier, I have the back end of the truck off the ground, and that's going to help with the water. So you can spin a, a wheel by hand, and that will turn the this on the rear diff, and that will help you align the bolts a little better. Um, now, if your truck's not on flat ground, you're going to want to chalk the front tires, or it's going to roll away on you. Other than that, it should go pretty smooth. I'm just going to kind of wiggle it back and forth to get the splines light up and that slides in there. You don't want to force and start hitting it a hammer or anything like that. It should go in good. And now I'm just going to put these bolts back in here. And then I'll add some more fluid and then that's the job done. Right, that's done. Amen. We can't be seal installed. So, the list. The list has come to an end. I learned how to do this last time. Put something on the list to hold the list. And then I don't have to hold it with my hand. Alright. Yay! Maybe I'll add some kind of applause because there's cheers or something because that was not enough for all the work I did on this truck. But I'll be driving this thing soon. Oh, okay. Stop. Minnie, I don't think you can do anything. She's just humping him.